you know beyond a doubt that you're not in someone else's dream. Inspired by this movie theme, Google named its deep convolution neural network as Inception and released many versions of this model which are primarily used for classifying images. And in recent years, they came up with mobile nets, a family of computer vision models. These are small size models with low latency and high accuracy, optimized to run on edge devices such as Raspberry Pi and mobile phone. The best part is they made all these models available for free. You can download and run these models on mobile devices and Raspberry Pi using TensorFlow Lite Interpreter. Today, I am going to test these models on my Raspberry Pi 4. The setup is very simple and requires just a USB camera or Pi camera. You can also add a USB Coral Accelerator to test the models which are compiled for it. Test is performed using a custom Python script and a web interface to interact with the script. Using this tool, I can switch between the various models during runtime. The script is capable of taking input from a USB camera or a Pi camera and can switch between 24 different models during runtime. Also, the Coral compatible version of a model can be loaded on Coral Accelerator during runtime. Based on the selected model, the script processes the input image through classification or detection channel. Finally, the output is overlaid on top of the image and streamed over LAN. Coming to web interface, you can switch between 9 types of image classification models using this section and 3 types of object detection models using this. These models take a picture frame as an input and return a class name to which the object in the picture belongs with its confidence score. They can classify up to 1000 different objects. These are also image classification models which are trained for a specific domain. This model is an expert on birds and can classify up to 900 birds. This one is an insect specialist which can recognize more than 1000 insects. And this one is a plant specialist with a catalog of 2100 plants. These object detection models can locate up to 90 types of objects present in a picture frame. The output of these models include names of the object and their position in the picture frame. And this model locates human faces in a picture frame. This is my Raspberry Pi desktop. Let me show you where I have placed the application and models. These are the models which have been downloaded from Google Coral repository. Notice that each model has an edge TPU version which can run on the USB Coral accelerator for faster inference. And this folder contains the code for web interface and a Python script, which I will use to run all these models. Using terminal, go to the project folder and run the Python script. Once you see this message, open a browser on a laptop connected to the same network and type the URL of the project folder. You will notice that the script has started running and the output generated is displayed on the terminal as well as on the web GUI. Starting with MobileNet V1, you can notice the name of the model currently loaded here and the time taken for inference here. Now, Notice the change when this button is pressed. It loads the Coral compatible version of the currently selected model in the USB Coral Accelerator. We can see how the inference time is reduced drastically. This way, we can immediately compare the performance of all these models. We can see how the inference time is increasing as I go from MobileNet V1 to Inception V4. If we observe carefully, we can notice that the confidence is maximum for Inception v4, but it runs 20 times slower than MobileNet v2. Attaching Coral increases the speed, but it still remains as fast as a MobileNet v1 without any acceleration. MobileNet v1 and v2 run fastest with inference time under 5 milliseconds. Now switching to an object detection model, 
we can notice that the output rendering on the picture frame has changed. These models can also be run with or without USB Corel Accelerator. Also, you can notice that SSD V2 model runs faster than SSD V1. Using a face detection model, we can locate a human face in a picture. Now, the object detection model locates a bird in the frame. Now, let's select the bird specialist model. And we see the scientific name of the bird written on the screen. This model does not make any prediction when we show a leaf to it. For that, let's switch to a plant specialist. And there we go, the leaf is detected from a plant known as common fig, which is right because that's what I downloaded from internet and printed. That's amazing. Again, showing an insect to a plant model doesn't make any sense. So let's switch to the insect model and it gets detected as a blue corporal, which is again correct. Coming back to other objects, Let's switch to an object detection model and we can see that all the objects are located with correct labels. These are the results of running these models on a Raspberry Pi 4. You can see that even in the absence of Coral USB accelerator, the inferencing speeds of MobileNet models are pretty fast. With Raspberry Pi 3A Plus, we observe the same pattern but with greater inference time in all the categories. This is due to its lesser computational power and RAM than Raspberry Pi 4. The source code of the project along with the instructions to automatically configure your Raspberry Pi to run this project are uploaded on the GitHub page. The link is provided in the description below. You can simply download this bash script and run on your Raspberry Pi to get started with this project within minutes. Thanks for watching.